Hi, I'm Mark. I'm the product designer here at AutoQ and in this video we're going to look at the DSLR prompter. When you unpack the unit you'll find a hood, a display mount, the prompter glass, an accessory bar and the camera mounting kit. To assemble the DSLR prompter, the first thing you need to install is the glass. Open the hood to rem and remove the paper from the glass and place it in the frame, making sure that the blue dot on the glass is facing up. Close the hood frame and secure it in place with the thumb screw. The next thing to do is fit the quick release plate from your tripod to the display mount. Remove the plate from your tripod and fix it to the mount using two screws if possible. There are both 3 8 and quarter fixings in the display mount. The hood now needs to be fixed to the display mount. This is done by using the four thumb screws. That completes the assembly of the on-camera unit and is now ready to be mounted to the tripod. There are three ways to display the prompting image. You can use an iPad, an iPad mini, or an 8-inch LCD monitor can be fitted to the display unit. To fit an iPad is simple. Slide the clamp open, drop the iPad in and slide it closed again. The clamp is secured in place by two thumb screws on the underside. If you're not mounting the DSLR prompter to a 15mm round system, you'll need a camera mounting kit. To install the camera mount, Insert the two stainless steel tubes in the clamps and using the two clamp screws lock them into place. Now fix your camera to the mounting with a quarter inch camera mounting screw. The camera mounting kit now slides onto the tubes and is held in place with a single thumb screw on the underside of the mount. It's important that the lens is located in the centre of the glass and as close to the glass as possible. The height of the camera can be adjusted by loosening the four thumb screws on the mount. The hood may also need adjusting. To raise and lower the hood, loosen the two thumb screws and move the hood to the correct height. Once the camera and iPad are installed, you may need to fine tune the balance of the unit. To do this, loosen the two screws on the quick release mounting. This will allow the plate to slide on the rail and change the centre of gravity of the unit. Ensure that the black light excluder is pulled tight so that there is no light leaks around the lens and you're ready to go. If you need to mount the DSLR prompter to a 15mm rail system, two tube clamps are used to fix it to the standard rails. You can then use the rail system tripod mount to fix it to the tripod. The accessory bar provides a mounting on top of the hood for lights and microphones. It's fixed to the top of the hood mounting with two screws and has 13 quarter inch fixing holes giving plenty of option for mounting accessories. Here I've installed AutoQ's on-camera light. If you chose the 8-inch LCD display version of the DSLR prompter, there are two ways to generate the prompting text. Supplied free with the system is the QStart prompting software, compatible with Mac or Windows. Alternatively, you can use iAutoQ. This is a prompting app that runs on an iPad. 
combined with AutoQ's iPad portal. This gives you a video output from the iPad that you can then feed the prompting text to the 8-inch LCD display. As you can see, AutoQ's DSLR prompter gives you a huge amount of prompting options. For more information, please visit our website.